What's going on Greenwood Stock Trading here with another educational video just to kind of give you an overall call it the good, the bad, and the ugly. So whenever we are looking at entering in a position, we always want to maximize the upside. That's the number one thing we want to do. But we also want to protect, protect against the downside. So what we're doing right now is looking for the best setups. Uh, we don't want to get into a lot of trades because the market is really choppy. It's toppy and you got some fundamental things going on like the Fed, like, um, you know, the surging in cases, different things are, are happening that's going to affect the market. And you saw that today, especially we saw that with a lot of stocks that sold off that didn't seem like they needed to be selling off, breaking support. So again, accept what comes with this accept what comes with this market okay that that's kind of that's that's the word i want to i want to get you to conceive you know conceptualize i want you to accept this market accept what comes with trading except that days are going to be different except that there's going to be good there's going to be some up they're going there's going to be some average but we want to get into the trades that we made we want to get into the trades that we're looking at we want to get into the trades that we missed because you're going to get a little bit of all of that whenever you're trading. It's 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 not all, um, you know, record breaking days whenever you're in the market. You, you, you have to move with the market and realize, <clears throat> number one, protect against losses. Number two, take profits when they're there. OK, especially when you're trading options. So uh, without further ado, let's get into these trades so I can give you an overall view of all the different things that are going on, the different elements, the different catalysts, the different mindsets, the different strategies, and how we're approaching uh, the market and making sure that we're optimizing our strategy. So LGVN again, we've seen this early, and I want to I want to rewind and see exactly when we got a pop. Uh, so so 11 13 this was at 11 o'clock so 11 o'clock it started consolidating after it after it popped so again we got a i guess i guess we got a halt looks like we got we got a halt from 8 70 okay so so first off if you're not following the halt bot you need to you need to follow you need to follow uh the halt bot okay uh yeah, follow that guy because he'll tell you what's getting halted. Uh, nine times out of ten, if a stock runs really big, it's going to get halted at least once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Uh, but the Primus, well, I'll go to Primus Scan. Primus Scan or the Halt Bot. And I'll, I'll, I'll go back to that as well uh, throughout this video. So be sure to like, share, subscribe as well so we can get more people this education i'm looking back uh, okay so again we get a halt 13 now so that would have been uh 8 53 yep 8 53 in the morning we get this halt right now so we already know that people are are looking at this to buy and run it up now remember going back you see you see a big volume day before it really broke out from 284 all the way to 890 a gap up to 13 and a big pullback now i'm going to give y'all a secret usually when things are just given to them people don't take that but you know, I've been saying it over and over and over. This candlestick pattern that we trade, it's called, this is called a bullish breaking pattern. Now, it already had engulfed, which means the body of this green candlestick covers the top and the bottom of this red candlestick. That's a bullish engulfing. And then I call this this pattern of bullish breaking. Anytime you get a a pullback, a, a run, and then a large pullback, okay, and then a solid green break 
over this high that's called a bullish breaking because it will break to the upside and keep running usually okay and i tweeted this as well but i just want to let you know we're not missing anything okay being patient but we're not missing anything looked at ispc that was no good during the market ran after hours mpln uh we looked at avya we looked at um we looked at the the space the the uh the space um stock as well and nothing really wanted to hold today except for the LGB and um ASTR ASTR was just a one hit wonder you know we got a pop and we got a drop and that was it a bunch of volume and you know that was it even though they flew into orbit today <laughs> they flew into orbit you know it still didn't hold the market does what it wants to do okay that's what you gotta realize you gotta trade price and you gotta trade volume when I put on my on my bio that we trade price that means that the price is the most important thing it has nothing to do with the hype the buzz what you think it's gonna do or whatever the case may be the price is what you trade if it's if the price is going lower and losing you money you have to exit the trade or set a stop or have a plan okay doesn't matter what twi twitter guru or furu or discord or you know celebrity is talking about it if it's losing you money you have to get out of the trade all right so again let's go through the lgbn now again we like i said we're we're not missing anything okay lgbn all right at 14 dollars, we, we were talking about this first what actually well before 14 dollars. we were talking about this at uh before uh before 14 so 1110 we started talking about this and this stock at 1110 was at ten dollars okay at actually eleven dollars from what i see up here so eleven dollars we start talking about this stock um on the daily we see this stock right now trying to break over the open from the previous day okay at 11 10. all right so it's right in the middle i noticed it but the volume wasn't there there are some things I didn't really like about it too much. And so I just said, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just wait until it really makes a move. <clears throat> All right. But again, we've seen this stock. And, you know, I said it was engulfing. 1475 break. All right. I then tweeted. I then tweeted that there was another potential of a 1475 break i was gonna say it's a 90 percent chance it goes beyond 20 but i didn't want to be irresponsible on twitter because people will take your trades and they'll just buy <laughs> with no stops or anything and so i don't want to be responsible for that you know my 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 picks are not recommendations to buy this is what i believe these are stocks i'm buying or stocks that i'm looking at or stocks that i think is a high probability uh, and then the next thing you know, it just explodes to, uh, uh, where did we go? We went to, we ended up going to 45.5. Okay. So again, a lot of these stocks are going to run after everybody commits to all these, all these positions. Okay. So understand when you're, when you're trading these stocks, make sure that you understand these levels. It holds levels. Look, look at how, look at how it bounces off the, off the five minute, the twenty on the five minute bounce. We see a, a, a pullback to this level. Look at stochastics. <laughs> they won't even. It, it, they're buying it so much that the stochastic didn't even really pull back. Um, it only pulled back after hours and it crossed right back over and and, and tried to to retest. But again, this this stock is something that you have to. These are something that you have to look at and keep these on your radar if they've ran in the past. Any stock that gets big news, government news, etc., 
and runs in the past, you got to keep that on your radar. All right. But now this is one stock. The rest of the day, what's going on? Okay. AAPL. What's going on with Apple? We get an Apple around 158, I believe. Yeah, 158. Okay. We get 160 the next day. We get 165. And then the market crashes. You know, I guess they sold the news that that, that the Fed that the Fed chief is gonna, you know, stay. So we go from 163 to 160. Okay, just like that in less than an hour. But you have to realize that the market, the overall market, these large caps is going to predict the smaller market or the individual stocks. So we got we get 472 on the spy all the way down to 467. That's huge. That's billions and billions of dollars okay as far as across all these different markets so i'm saying that to tell you that you have to take a look at what the overall market is doing because if you're in these swing plays you're going to if, if you don't exit uh be sure that you understand that hey it's going to be a uh your portfolio is going to be down before it's up if you got the overall market pulling back like this okay so again Make sure that you're that you're understanding everything that's going on in the market. So again, we got ISPC. ISPC, what did it do? We always say, look, it needs to break the pre-market high. Before we trade it, we want it to break the pre-market high, which and, and hold pre-market high. So we got a break, it popped, and then there was nothing from eleven to eight to seven. Uh, bottom, bottom dot right at eight. Okay. And then all of a sudden <laughs> it just decides to go crazy and double up after hours. All right. Because the news was good. Okay. So uh, accept the unpredictability of the market. You can't get in every play. Every play is not meant for you to get into. I am looking for plays all day. Okay. We're looking for Roku. We've been we've been trying to find the bottom of that stock. I was in. I had to exit right here when it broke support. Now it went from uh, a low of 223, which I was waiting for the low. We see a low of 223, and then we run all the way to almost 240. That's that's easily an account doubler. But you know we didn't know where the bottom was. So again, Peloton, again making another low. I mean, and these are these are the money makers. The when we made money on Peloton from from fifty one all the way to fifty four. Okay, next day is red. You got Snap, red. You got PYPL, PayPal. Um, again, breaking support. We wanted to get in, but again, from one eighty four all the way to uh, one ninety three, it hit today. Is a nice run, but how are you going to time that? <clears throat> You're gonna have to wait until we get a green candle, okay? So, again, accept that you know you're only gonna look at, you're only gonna see a couple trades sometime. You know, AFRM, AFRM. Look, look at, look at all the pay processors. PayPal is down. AFRM is down. This was a winner. This was, this was killing, killing the market uh, not too long ago. RBLX. Understand when the party is over, sometimes it's over. Okay, we were holding our RBLX from 117, I believe, all the way up to 124 is when well, 122 is when we sold out. Okay, wanted to hold longer but didn't let it go. But you got to end up taking profits, you got to take profits. But understand, there's so many Tilray. I mean, why is Tilray selling off? You know, we're, we're looking at this stock to bottom out somewhere and make another comeback but again these, these stocks are beating down they're passing marijuana legislation left and right but this stock is still beat beat down why because the market does what it's supposed what it, what it wants to do okay so again this was a wild day except for a couple spots every swing uh with a mar uh, uh, large cap that we want to swing continue to make new lows and continue to make new lows you just have to wait and be patient understand you only need one great trade a month a week and you're good to go stay focused realize every day is not going to be a great record-breaking day 
save your your funds for the great plays that you can get into.